Hey babe, what are you doing? Chilling and listening to music, baby. What about you? I'm at home. You wanna come for a walk? I can't at the moment, babe. I'm looking after my little brother and sister. Okay, practicing for us, babe. What do you mean, babe? I want us to have a baby. I want us to have a baby. 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 Hey, Jeej, guess what? Jamie wants us to have a baby. Do you know much about your rheumatic heart disease and being pregnant? I mean, is that okay? No, not really. Jamie doesn't even know that I have rheumatic heart disease. I haven't found the right time to tell him yet. Well, you gotta tell him about your rheumatic heart disease, then think about having the baby. Yeah. I'll probably tell him sometime tomorrow when I see him. Then after you've told him, you two should go to the clinic and get more advice about your rheumatic and being pregnant. Yeah. I'm not sure if my heart will be okay after the baby either. I mean, is it going to get worse? I might have to take extra medicine when I'm pregnant. I have to be extra careful. Well, sis, it's a big step. I hope you're ready. Remember, the mother shares the heartbeat with the baby. This is very important. I wonder if my baby will be healthy. I mean, will my baby get rheumatic heart disease too? Dunno. You have to find out. Bye, Jij. Bye. I see you, you and me. I want to book a narring around me. You and me forever. Jamie, I haven't told you this before because I didn't really think it mattered till now. What is it, Tess? I have rheumatic heart disease. Rheumatic what? What's that? Well, you can call it rheumatic heart disease or RHD for short. What's it caused by? Well, it's caused by a fever from this germ called strep. The strep germ gives you a sore throat, then it attacks your joints. How does it make you feel? It makes me feel really sick and tired all the time. Whoa. Yeah. The strep germ hurt the valves inside my heart. It made them sticky so they don't work properly anymore. And I have to take a medicine injection every single month, but, but I'm okay now. I mean, Can you still have babies with it? I'm not really sure. I mean, I didn't really think about it until you said it, but I'm going to go to the clinic today and find out more about it. Can I come too? I want to know more. So you're cool with coming to the clinic with me? Yeah. I want this baby with you. Remember, the mother shares the heartbeat with the baby. The clinic is open. No worries, come on down. Bye. Hey Tess, how are you? Hey. What can I do for you today? I just need to see a GP. Okay, take a seat. Hey. Hey, how's Jamie? Yeah, he's right. Come on, have a seat. How are you today? Good, thanks. Good. So what's brought you in today? Well, me and my boyfriend Jamie, we're thinking about having a baby, but I've got rheumatic heart disease. So I was just wondering, will having a baby make my heart worse? I'm really worried, like, what's going to happen with the baby? I'm really glad that you came in today because you have been coming to the clinic now for quite a long time to have your penicillin injections. 
And I really want to make sure that when you're thinking about having a baby, that you get the best care possible. So first of all, what we need to think about is you continue to have your penicillin injections monthly. Will my monthly penicillin shots hurt the baby? No, the penicillin won't affect your baby. It's really important that you don't miss your penicillin injections while you're thinking about having a child. And I was just wondering if having a baby will make my heart worse and will I have to take extra medicine and all that stuff? The thing with when you're having a baby is that it puts a lot of work on your heart. So your heart's going to be beating faster and we really need to be making sure that your heart is looked after throughout the pregnancy. So you'll need to have your heart scans like you have been or an echo as they're known or echocardiogram. They look at your heart and tell us how well your heart is going throughout the pregnancy. Another really important thing we need to think about is for you to go and have a dental health check. Why do I have to go to the dentist? What has that got to do with my heart? You might remember from when you first was diagnosed with rheumatic heart disease that a doctor would have talked to you about the group A streptococci. That lives in our mouth and the thing is that we need to try and reduce that as much as we can when we're thinking about pregnancy. I would really like to see a report from the dentist to say that everything's okay with your teeth. And then the other important thing is that we recommend that you take some vitamins to help your baby grow and develop properly. Well, I'm really glad I came in to see you. I feel so much better now. Tess, do you have any other questions? So I need to get my heart checked. I need to go to the dentist. I need to continue taking my monthly penicillin shot and I also need to take some vitamins to help the baby grow. I'll follow up on those appointments for you and I'll get back to you in a couple of weeks time. All right, thank you so much. Okay. Hey mum. Yeah? I really need to talk to you about something. What's up Tess, is everything okay? Well, you know how Jamie and I have been together for a long time now? Yeah. We're thinking about having a baby, and I went to the clinic today. They said that it would be fine just as long as I keep up with my shots and I go in for regular heart checks and stuff. Is this what Jamie wants or what you both want? Mum, of course it's what we both want. I love him. Sweetie, I think you and Jamie need to talk about this a bit more. We have been through so much with the RHD. What did the clinic mob say? They said it'd be fine. I'm gonna be fine, but Jamie wants a baby. Yes, but what about your health? What about your RHD? I'm not sure about any of this. Oh, Tess, please talk to Jamie and choose wisely. I don't want anything to happen to you. Babies are a big responsibility and there's so much to think about. Look, I support you, but I really think you should wait, my daughter. I really do love you. I think you need to go on some contraception in the meantime to be safe. Okay, tell me more about the contraception. Well, there are two choices that are good for you. One is a depot needle. You get that every three months. The other is the Implanon. It's a needle they put under your skin and it stays there for three years. These are the safest choices for you, sweetie. Mum, do you think if I have this baby, it'll have rheumatic heart disease too? No, that's not possible. You don't get rheumatic that way. You can only get it through skin sores and sore throat. Okay. Okay? Yeah, let me have a think about it. I'm gonna go and talk to Jamie. Remember, you and your baby are sharing a heartbeat. Hey, Jeej, come over. Hey, how did things go with you and Jamie? Yeah, it went good. He had heaps of questions, so we decided to go down to the clinic and see a GP. She gave me so much information about RHD and being pregnant. Basically, I can have a healthy baby, but I've just got to do a few things first. Like what? Well, I have to have my heart checked, I have to go to the dentist, I have to take vitamins, 
and I have to keep taking my monthly penicillin injections. But it won't hurt the baby. Right. That doesn't sound too hard, eh, sis? Did you tell Auntie? Yeah, I told her. But she obviously wants me to slow down a bit, you know, to make sure that things are alright for the baby. Mum reckons I should think about going on some contraception. I might try the depot or the Implanon because they're the safest for me and my heart and all. Lots to think about, eh, sis? What you gonna do? You're young. You have plenty of time. Wanna go for a walk? Yeah, let's go for a walk.